Hi guys, my name is Katrina and I am a first year pre-biomedical engineering student here at UBC Vancouver. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some general information and tips for you guys now that you have successfully applied to UBC. The first thing I wanna say though is congratulations. This is a major step onto your journey to attend University for Engineering and it's a very exciting one indeed. My first tip is to check the Student Service Center. This houses all the necessary information for students at UBC Vancouver and UBC Okanagan. For you, this will have your application status, information for the upload of documents, fees for tuition and residence. And when you get to be a student like myself, this also houses things like your grades, your timetable and ways for you to choose your courses and your residence. The second thing you need to do is to upload or allow access to your grades slash transcript. For BC on Ontario students, this can be done through the BC Student Service Center or for Ontario students, this is done through the OUAC. For other Canadian students or international students, please make sure you check your email as information for how to upload your transcript will be sent to you. There is also a link down below to the UBC page that talks about all the important documents that you need to be sending based on where you are from. Another thing that kind of goes with your grades and transcript is to make sure that you have looked at the different IB or AP credits. UBC does give credits for IB and AP, but for engineering, they do suggest that you still take the math, physics, and chemistry in your first year. The third piece of information you need to know about is residence. UBC does have the deadline of May 1st for you to apply to residence. So if you're considering it or you're live far away and you need to live in residence, make sure you do apply to first year res before May 1st, as this deadline is pretty strict if you want to be considered for guaranteed first year housing. Personally, I live in res and I absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about it, talk to upper years and ask them about their situation and they'll give you a little bit of information. We also, for engineering stories, have a lot of videos about residence in first year and upper years, and I will be linking the playlist down below. To find your residence application, go to the Student Service Center and go to Housing and Food. From there, you wanna be clicking the left-hand corner, Prospective Students, and going from Apply and Application. There, it's super easy. They just ask you your preferences, like how tidy are you? Does tidiness really apply? Do you like to wake up early in the morning or are you someone who likes to stay up super, super late? They also ask what type of room you would prefer and you rank your choices. This allows UBC to kind of filter through and see what people really want. They also have the option for girls to live in an all-female housing. So if that is something you do think is important for you, make sure you do tick that box. The final thing I'm gonna be talking about today is UBC events and tours. UBC holds multiple online live tours for both the Vancouver and Okanagan campuses every week. This gives you a chance as a prospective student to be shown around the UBC Vancouver or Okanagan campus by our student ambassadors. So make sure you attend one of those. UBC Engineering also holds numerous events throughout the year. And in the upcoming months, they have a lot for prospective students so make sure you do look at the link below to their website and look through the different events to see what you might want to attend. In addition, if you did not attend the UBC Vancouver virtual or online open house, be sure to check out the UBC playlist for the open house as the engineering faculty did film everything and they have it all there for you to watch. My favorite part of the open house was the different videos that each of the 14 specialties at the UBC Vancouver campus provided. Each of the videos can range from about five to 10 minutes and they give you a better chance to learn about what each specialty is. But for you, it gives you a better chance to see what you could potentially be doing in the future. And that comes to the end of the video. Links for each of the section or websites that I did talk about in this video will be linked in the description box below. I have also included a link for a playlist to the application videos, the course videos and residence videos that our team has put together in the past. Make sure to look at those playlists as if you have any questions, they are a great source for you to look at. If you do have any questions however, or comments, make sure you put them in the comment box below and someone from our team will answer them with soon as possible. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when any of the Engineering Stories videos are posted. But for now, 
Good luck with the application process. Bye.